home to Catalyst Kids at home, which is where we get to enjoy a Catalyst Kids church service all together, but from the comfort of our own home. How cool is that? Now you might be watching today with the people that you live with, or maybe with your toys, or you might even be watching with a friend over FaceTime. Now I heard a really cool story about two best buddies who have been enjoying watching Catalyst Kids together even though one of them lives in the UK and the other one lives in Australia. How cool is that? Here is a picture of Judah and Luca who have been watching Catalyst Kids together. Now we love that you guys are able to spend Sundays together again even though you're in different places just now. What a cool picture, what a cool story. That is the beauty of Catalyst Kids at home, is that although we're all in our own separate homes just now, you could invite your friends to watch Catalyst Kids with you on a Sunday, whether they're your friend who lives just down the street, or if they're a friend who even lives in a different country, you can invite them to join us and watch on the live stream, or you could just catch up on YouTube together later on. How cool is that? Uh, oh, sorry, I've just been waving my arms around frantically and realised I've not explained why I'm holding a plant. Ooh, it's a bit weird. Um, so sorry, I've been watering all of my plants this morning. Da -da -la, and I forgot to put them away before the camera started playing. Um, but yeah, so you can see I'm in the comfort of my home, very comfy cosy with all my plants around. And I'm also surrounded by my sister Hannah. Let's give her a cheer. Woohoo! Oh, hello! Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Um, welcome, Hannah. So good to have you. So good to be here. It's lovely. In, in the house that you live in, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I love to be here. <laughs> um, now, Hannah, I have a question for you. Yes. And I'm ready to hear it. Much like I do every Sunday, mm -hmm. I have a question for you. It is this. Here we go. Do you think you could... Think of something that needs fed for every letter of the alphabet. Hmm. This is what I've been pondering over as I've been watering all of the plants today. You know, I think I could, mm. and I'm not doubting that I could, mm. but I wonder if we should make it into a little bit of a game. Ooh! A bit exciting. That's a bit exciting, yeah. So we could do it turn about. Clever, I love it, yes. Let's see if we can both do it. Yes. So I'll start. Um, so A, an anteater. An anteater needs to eat ants. ants. Very good, very good. Uh, B, birds, they eat worms, I believe, maybe? Yep. Uh, C, children. Children eat? They eat a lot. Children eat a lot. Uh, D, dogs. Mm -hmm. Dogs. They eat, they eat. E elephants, they probably eat a lot. They would need a lot of fed yeah. feed. A lot a lot of feeding. <laughs> a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. Uh F Faith. Faith? Yeah, what? faith needs fed. What does faith eat? Well, uh, I will get to that in a minute. You see, just like all of those other things, when we choose to have faith and trust in God. We need to feed our faith to help it grow big and strong, just like these plants need fed to grow big and strong, and just like all of those animals need fed to grow big and strong. You know, also, why don't we just, let's pause that game there. You can continue playing later on at home. But you know sometimes when you need fed, you get hungry. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had it that you need fed and you get hungry, and then you get so hungry that you get a little bit angry. All the time. All the time. Non-stop. I believe it's called being hangry. Can you say it? Hangry. Mm, you see what they did? They just put an H in front of the angry. Mm -hmm. it's quite clever. Um, hands up if that has happened to you before. Anyone? Anyone? Now, we actually can't see who's raising their hands at home, but I hope it's not just me and you. Um, I get... I need fed quite a lot. And I need fed quite a lot too. Yeah. Um, now, what I've been finding is that as we've all been in lockdown, I've been getting hangry quite quickly, but not just food hangry. I've actually been getting faith hangry. 
faster than I maybe would usually. And I've been realizing that when I've not fed my faith, I find it easier to get sad quicker at the people and the situations around me, or I find it easier to get angry quicker with the people that I'm living it with. But when I've been feeding my faith, I find it much easier to act out of the fruit of the spirit and act out of God's love and joy and peace and goodness and all of those good, good things. So, I wonder if we should all do a little bit of faith, faith fading, faith, faith feeding, faith feeding, just now. Everybody say it together. It's like a tongue twister. How fast can you say it? Faith feeding, faith feeding, faith feeding, faith feeding, faith feeding, faith feeding. Faith feeding, faith feeding. <laughs> Excellent. We're going to do some faith feeding just now, and we're going to worship. That is, here's an answer to your question. The rest of the answers are coming later on. Worship is one of the ways that we can feed our faith. Mm. Mm, very interesting. And you know, it doesn't matter if you've had a week where you've been feeling really faith hangry. Maybe you've been finding it easy to get sad or easy to get angry. Or if you've had a really good week, it doesn't matter how we feel when we worship. It doesn't matter how good we're feeling or how good we are when we worship. The thing that we worship about is how good God is. So no matter what kind of week you have had, we can all worship just now together. So we're going to do that if you jump to your feet and jump to your feet again. Okay, let's worship. Woohoo! Standing in the calm of the chaos, forever holding out your light. You are the guide the world that leads us.
God, thank you that you already know all of those things that have made each and every one of us sad or angry this week. God, thank you that you have been with us every second, every minute of every day this week. And Holy Spirit, we just want to give you those sad and angry feelings just now. And we want to ask God, would you fill us up with your strength? God, would we experience and shine out more and more of your love and your joy and your hope and your peace. Amen. Okay, now coming up next, we are gonna go into space woohoo, and see what the Connect crew say about feeding and growing your faith. Ready, steady, lift off! And Luke and Alyssa is showing me about how to take care of the plants around here. Yeah, 
Okay, don't you think this plant looks a little hungry? Yeah, I guess so. It does. And thirsty, too. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit of food in our water. Plant food. Dun 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 dun. Yep. Mmm, we're just gonna swishy, 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 swishy around. Okay. Eat it just like that. There. Now the plant has all the food and water it needs to grow big and strong. Didn't you like that? Yes, you did. That's so yummy. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Uh, you hey, Alyssa? Hmm? Don't you think it's time to... Uh, oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. It's time to... Rehearse, rehearse the, the verse. verse! Today's verse is from the book of James, chapter 2, verse 26. Say it like this. Okay. James 2, 26. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna say it and you guys will pre after me, okay? Okay. Are you guys ready? Oh, they're ready. Okay. James 2.26. James 2.26. Just as the body is dead without breath. Just as the body is dead without breath. So also faith is dead without good works. So also faith is dead without good works. Great job! Just like the plant needs food and water to grow big and strong, our faith grows strong when we do good things, like read the Bible. Oh, so that's what Nitro's contest must be about, about growing our faith. Contest? Yeah. What contest? I gotta go. In an orderly fashion, Welcome to Connect Station Faith Olympics. It has been an exciting competition so far. I'm winning! Woo! That is correct. We have just finished the quiet time competition, and Mike won. Yeah, who knew Mike could be quiet so long? Next, we have... Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If we're going to have an exciting competition, we're going to need an exciting announcer. No offense, buddy. And that should do it. And now we are in the final heat of the Help the Sick competition, where contestants go head to head to outbandage their opponent. Contestants ready? Woo, woo, yes. yes! I'm ready. We got yes. this. We got this. On your marks, get set, go. Okay, let's go. Quick. Oh. 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 No, faster than that. Hurry. Let's go. Come on. It's gotta be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Yes, it just it has does. to be done. Okay, that should be good. Now we're gonna go around the next. Now. Let's go. Hold that let's go. Too. Uh, what do you? No, that's not. Yeah. Luke. <laughs> faster. Come on. Safety first. Oh. No, 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 don't unspin. Stop the bleeding. Done. It seems we have a winner. What? Seriously? Woo, not quick enough in the West. Hey, guys. Can I get a little help here? You've had help. Stay tuned for the Bible search competition. The competition continues to heat up as our contestants go head to head to find a story of great faith in the Bible. Contestants, on your marks, get set, go! Adam and Eve? No way. I'm gonna win! Peter denies Christ? That can't be right. Ow! Oh, I broke a nail! That's a 287. Got it! That's it, Abe's big test. That's the one, Mike's got it. Once again, Mike wins. Watch and learn, kids, watch and learn.
This is a 66 pick mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Let it blow up all the pages, let this show go live Let his word explode from this video into your life God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. <laughs> God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused but still, he trusted God. Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together, they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, Abraham replied. Abraham arranged the wood on an altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name. Abraham, don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide, because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. Oh, that story gets me every time. Abraham trusted God enough to obey, even when it didn't make sense. And even when it seemed like obeying would make Abraham very sad. Yeah, Abraham must have talked to God a lot. His faith was huge! Um, what are you doing? Gotta stay warm, gotta stay body warm. Next competition's coming up, woo! Well, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I'm gonna do lunches. Well, whoa. Yeah, Nitro, you got it! While our contestants warm up for their next event, I challenge you to a contest. What are the first two words of today's point? If you remember, shout it out! Very good. What comes next? Nice work! We're almost halfway done. What's next? Can you get this next one? Shout it out! Great! Only one choice left. Let's finish big. Who is your faith in? I can't hear you! You did it! Friends, say the point with me in three, two, one. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. Very good. Hopefully our friends will discover this point as they finish today's competition. The results are in. Alyssa and Luke tied for the bronze medal. Thank you. Thank you, Nitro. Ray takes the silver. Thank you. And now, for the presentation of the highest award, the gold medal goes to Mike. Emily. <laughs> Man, Mike, I must say, I'm impressed. Yeah, you beat us fair and square. So, how did you do it? Well, I prayed every single day, and I read the Bible a lot, and I made sure I made time to listen to God. Those are all good things. 
Yeah, so when the time for the Faith Olympics came around, I was ready. That's great, man. You must be really happy. Well, I guess. Sort of. What do you mean? Well, I got the gold medal. It's as high as you can go. But now that my faith is done growing, what's next? I don't think it works that way. Well, maybe I should ask the room. Plus, I want to show off my medal. Huh, BRB, or be right back. <laughs> to the room! Hello, Mike. How can I help you? Hey, room. Uh, we had the Faith Olympics and I won! That is wonderful, Mike. Well, I'm really happy, but I want gold. That's as high as you can go. What now? I guess my faith is done growing? James 2.26 Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. The body never stops needing to breathe to keep on living. In the same way, you must continue to do what it takes to keep your faith strong. You know, I want great faith like Abraham. Hey, I found that story! It is an example of great faith. And you can have great faith, too. Okay. You know what? From now on, I'm going to grow my faith. I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to pray every day. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to do good works for people every chance I get. It sounds like your faith is becoming very strong already. And it's about to be even stronger. I'll never stop growing my faith because I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. That's the point. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. Thanks, Room. I gotta go because I've got good things to do for other people. You are very welcome, Mike. Ray, you were right. Just because I won gold doesn't mean my faith stops growing. That's right, Mike. Our faith never stops growing. As we pray, read God's word, worship, our faith just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I want my faith to keep growing. Me too. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. I do. 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 Wow, Mike did great. He blew us all out of the water. <gasps> I wish there had been water. I love water things like swimming and floating on my back and Marco. Polo. Exactly. Still, it was a fun competition and we all grew our faith, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Mike is right. There's always room for us to grow our faith even more. Just like today's point <gasps> says. Let's say it together. I, I do, do good, good things, things to, to grow, grow my faith, faith in Jesus. Jesus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If we don't do good things, our faith becomes like a shriveled up plant without food or water. Mm. I think you've been reading today's verse, haven't you? Maybe I have. <laughs> and maybe we could all say it together. James, James 2.26 just, just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. Great job. This week, let's do good things to show that we believe in Jesus. Like praying. Ooh, or reading the Bible. Oh, and helping others. Exactly. No matter what, when you have the chance, don't hide your faith inside. Show, show that, that you believe, believe in Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hi. <laughs> Winning the gold was fun, but the best thing to come out of today was learning that no matter what, I can always keep growing, and I will because I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. And you can too. All it takes is making Jesus the leader of your life. And you can do that. Just remember your A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no 
to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. If you choose to follow Jesus, let us know. Talk about it with your Connect small group leader before you leave. Now, we feed our faith when we choose to connect with God and when we choose to fill our heads and our hearts with God's good things. Just like you feed a plant with some water, we can feed our faith by doing things like praying and by reading our Bible and by worshipping and by sharing out and spreading out God's good things, like the fruit of the Spirit, sharing out God's love and joy and kindness and goodness and peace, and the list goes on and on. Now, my challenge to you this week is how are you going to feed your faith? Even in lockdown, we can feed our faith by sharing out God's good things to other people. So I want you to think about that and challenge yourself to ways that you can feed your faith this week. And if you come up with something really cool, if you feed your faith or if you share God's good things, then why don't you email us at kids at catalyst.vin because it feeds other people's faith when you share encouraging stories. So we would love to hear about anything that you do like that. Now, coming up next, there is gonna be some questions on the screen that you can do with the people in your house. For me, that's all for today. I will see you later. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.